In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray this rosary for the intention of the Holy Father, for all the poor, the priests of our parish, that the Lord in his infinite mercy will protect them and give us holy priests. We pray for our family and friends, especially those that they need our prayers. For all those who are suffering at the hospital, all the homeless, all the mental sick, all those that they suffer with COVID-19, that the Lord will restore them in their health. And we pray for all souls in purgatory, especially for the loved one, that they may rest in peace. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son and Lord, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried, he descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, allow be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we offer this tree, Hail Mary, for the increase of faith, love, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> and let us honor the Holy Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the first joyful mystery, we contemplate the Annunciation. Let us pray for the love of humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of their mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. Pray for charity towards our neighbors. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As 
was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be a world without ending. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of their mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, now and never shall be a world without ending. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead our souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. Let us pray for the virtues of piety. Our Father, who art in heaven, allow be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead those souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of their mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. Thy eyes are mercy towards us, and after this exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us a reward of eternal salvation, Grant we beseech thee by meditating upon this mystery of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, God, Son, Redeemer of the world, God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of Virgins, Mother of Christ, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother of Most Pure, Mother Most Chaste, Mother Inviolate, Mother Undefiled, Mother Most Amable, Mother Most Admirable, Mother of Good Counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Savior, Virgin Most Prudent, Virgin most venerable, Virgin most renowned, Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful, Mirror of justice, Seat of wisdom, Cause of our joy, Spiritual vessel, Vessel of honor, Singular vessel of devotion, Mystical rose, Tower of David, Tower of Ivory, House of Gold, Ark of the Covenant, Gate of Heaven, Morning Star, Health of the Sea, Refuge of Sinners, 
comfort of afflicted, help of Christians, queen of angels, queen of patriarch, queen of the prophets, queen of the apostle, queen of martyrs, queen of confessors, queen of virgins, queen of all saints, queen conceived without original sin, queen assuming to heaven, queen of the most holy rosary, queen of peace, lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Pray hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Grant unto us, the servant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, at all time to enjoy health of souls and body, and by the glorious intersection of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, will free us from sorrow of this present life to enter into that joy which had no end. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The memory. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that was never known, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intersection, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O virgin, virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the world incarnate. Despise not my petition, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be a protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who run throughout the world, seek the ruins of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
May our tears be turned into dancing for the Lord, the love of our life, has turned the night to day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I greet us this morning as we continue to pray during this Easter season. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, the worker, and we thank God for this beautiful saint whose, whose um, this year is dedicated to him. We focus on his life, his care for his family, and his great powers of intercession. So today we celebrate his feast day, and it's a special feast day that is dedicated to all those who work, particularly persons who work with their hands, those who do manual labor, our farmers and construction workers and so on. So we pray for them, and we ask God to be with them, protecting them as they go about their duties. Our Mass is being offered today in thanksgiving for the intentions of May Punzalan. As we prepare to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy, and blaspheming, they con contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourself to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord. And as many had, as had been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust of their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Your response will be, 
All the earth, ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has won him victory. All the ends of the earth has seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous songs and sing praises. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, he said to the disciples, If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do not know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show me the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the most difficult concepts for the disciples to, um, to understand was the, the whole concept of Jesus and the Father being one and here we have Jesus explaining to them that if they have seen Jesus they have seen the Father the whole purpose of Christ coming to the face of the earth is to reveal God to us we thought we knew God we knew God as very powerful as God as creator but we did not know him as loving father we did not know him as someone who cares for us and who is there at our side and this was the whole purpose of Christ coming but of course, there were some people who felt that Jesus was too ordinary. He was a man who looked after the, the marginalized in society, a man who went after the poor and the sick and the lame and the tax collectors and the lepers and the prostitutes. And so they said, well, someone like this obviously could not be God because he associates with very ordinary people. But in that, there is a lesson for all of us that God cares even for those who are considered unimportant in our eyes. In God's eyes, there is no such thing as VIP and non-VIP. In, in God's eyes, everybody is a VIP. And we celebrate that today, that God who loves and cares for us. And especially today, on the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, we honor people who are often taken for granted. Our workers, our construction workers, our farmers, our artisans, and so on. They too are very important 
in the eyes of God and in the contribution that they make to our society. So we ask God today to watch over them, to bless them and protect them. Amen. Let us pray. Today, as we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the worker, we pray for all workers everywhere that God will protect them and keep them safe in his care. We pray to the Lord. We pray especially for those in the health industry that God will keep them safe and give them strength and courage in this very important task. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for those who work in the church, that God too will protect us, and that we will continue to pray and be a source of inspiration and strength to others. We pray to the Lord. For God's protection upon our homes and families, we pray to the Lord. For the sick, that God will grant them his healing power, we pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, that God may give them the reward of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you today as we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the worker. Bless all those who go out to work today and keep them safe in your care. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of divine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable. To God the Almighty Father. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty, in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch over a fa to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your Majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>